Hi, I'm Jules. I'm an advanced nurse practitioner in a GP surgery. Hello, I'm Amy Clark, infant feeding health visitor. Hi, I'm Dr Chet. I'm a local GP based in Salisbury. Marion Judd, health visitor. Hello, my name's Matthew. I'm the pharmacist at Sarum Health Group. Hi, I'm Dr Seb Gray, paediatric consultant at Salisbury Hospital. All health visitors are nurses and we have done extra training in child development and supporting families. We work in the community and we come out and see all families at key points in their child's life. But we are available to you through our duty lines Monday to Friday 9 to 5. If your child is preschool and you're worried about them, why don't you call us and we can help you manage them at home. Nurse practitioners may be the first person that you see in a GP's surgery. We can see you, we can assess you, we can examine you and we can prescribe for you, although a prescription may not always be necessary. If needed, we can liaise with the GPs on site or the doctors up at the hospital. Problems with infant feeding can be the first sign that your child is unwell. Do call us if you're concerned. We can support you and guide you for caring for your child at home or signpost you to further medical assistance if required. Pharmacists are available seven days a week in the community and can give advice and guidance on a range of minor ailments and let you know how to treat your child at home for conditions such as colds, coughs and hay fever. We're all here to help you. Monday to Friday you have your GP practice. In the evenings and weekends you have 111 who can direct you to the best service. You also have the walk-in centre and the out-of-hours GP. Then, of course, if your child is very sick, you have the Accident Emergency Department at Salisbury Hospital. We work closely with GPs and the Emergency Department to see whether your child needs admission to hospital. We have a team of paediatricians and nurses who look after children 24-7, and if they need admission to hospital, we'll be there for you. Over the next few months, we're expecting a lot of viruses to infect children. For most children, this will just cause a bit of a cough and a cold, but if they start really struggling with their breathing, working really hard, or if they can't feed properly, or if they can't complete full sentences, then you should be a bit more worried. You can start by ringing 111, but if you're really worried, ring 999. In Salisbury, we work really closely with the team at Healthier Together, and they have some excellent resources which tell you in a traffic light system when to worry.